me, Missouri is ready for a political revolution. Thank you all for coming out. Let me thank the John Henry Band, Billy Moffitt, Nathan Green, Claude Cummings Jr., Michael Dorwood, and what about Jonathan Jackson? Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> Ten months ago, we started this campaign, and we were at 3% in the polls. Ten months have come and gone, and the world has changed politically. There was once a candidate who was the anointed one, who was inevitable. Today, she is not so inevitable. We have now won nine primaries and caucuses. Almost, almost all of them by double digit numbers. And if there is a large turnout in Missouri tomorrow, we're going to win this state. revolution, if we're going to transform this country, if we're going to have a government that represents all of us rather than a handful of wealthy campaign contributors, we need to win here. We need a large voter turnout. Help make that happen. campaign is defying all of the expectations because we're doing something very radical for American politics. We are telling the truth. Yeah. And you know, the truth is not always pleasant. Sometimes it's easier for a politician to tell you some jokes and pass the evening pleasantly. But it's too late for jokes, and it's time to get serious about the serious problems that we face. Let me start off by telling you what most of you already know, that in this country, which historically has been one of the great democracies in the world. Today, we have a corrupt campaign finance system which is destroying American democracy. Now, the concept of democracy really is not complicated. What it is about is one person, one vote, majority rules. That's about it. And what that means is you want to vote for me, great. You want to vote against me, that's all right. But you get one vote. But what is happening today is you get one vote, but the Koch brothers and other billionaires are spending hundreds of millions of dollars to try to buy elections. That's not democracy. That is not democracy, that is called oligarchy, and together we're going to stop it. But it is not only Citizens United 
and a corrupt campaign finance system. We have Republican governors all over this country who are working overtime trying 